What you got going on at this station? You're gonna do a band upright row uh, with a squat for a level one B. You're gonna hold it like a big old circle, rest it down on the ground, step onto it, make sure you say this, make sure that they understand it should be loose between them because if they step it out uh, and extend the band, uh, it will likely snap back. And this movement that we're gonna be doing for a level two, uh, this is the one that the bands typically break and snap back on us on. So you really gotta watch that. So you want nice and loose, you should be able to reach down and have a little bit of slack, right? Level one, upright row, hold with those elbows. Uh, one B is a squat, so you're gonna squat down, upright row, squat down, upright row. All right, level two, it's going to omit the squat. It's a band upright row jack. Now this is the one, if they're having troubles, they can go re non-reactive, all right? With that, however, uh, really be careful. What's gonna cause that band to break and snap back and hit them, and that's how I would phrase it, uh, don't do it, make sure that it's loose because you don't want it to snap back and bite you. Um, is if the feet are dragging on the ground or if they're stepping in close and stretching it out. The band can only go about twice their length, so only about there, taking any further, and it's starting to produce lots of stress on the band. That's when it's gonna break, particularly if there's a weak point in it. So that's what we got going on here.